Hello, this is Ken Dominic from KBD Productions. I had a comment on my channel saying, I like your background a lot. How did you make it? So this is a tutorial on how to make a cool background like this. This is a non-partnership with uh, YouTube, unlike uh, SMP Films channel. Uh, he's a partner and he got to do this really cool background. Single image, but you get the space above all these windows that you can put more stuff in, and that's this Corey's. Uh, this is Cheeseburger, he, he put a banner up there. Uh, everybody knows Fred, Fred put a banner there. Uh, this is what a normal website looks like, or sorry, a normal channel looks like. This is my daughter. Uh, check out her site, just uh, keep her happy. That's what I'm saying. Uh, she needs subscribers, she needs video views. Uh, she's gonna, I'm gonna try and get her to put videos on once a week. Same with my son. This is a really funny video, you gotta check it out. Uh, he only has two views right now. Uh, give him some views, give him some comments, he would love it. Uh, anyway, so back to what you want, which is a tutorial on your background image. So here we go. So what I did before I started was I made some measurements. So from here to here on the YouTube banner is 960 pixels, and then from here all the way over to here is 150, and then from here to here is 150, because we need to know what this space is. Uh, you can figure out this space if you want to and put something in here, but depending on how many of these pop up, depends on how it's going to be over top of your graphic. So I opted not to put anything here. Um, so let's get uh, let's get into it. Uh, so I'm going to use Photoshop CS3. Uh, so I'm going to make a new window. Let's call this background. Obviously, I'm the fastest typer in the world. Be careful. 001. Uh, again, it's going to be 1260 wide by 1600 deep, 72 resolution, RGB color. And that's it. Oh, and I'm going to change it to black. So let's just dump black in there. Whatever color is up front on the swatches is the color that gets dumped in there. So we're going to open a picture to throw in the background. This is a picture I took of downtown Toronto. I'm going to do Apple A, Apple C. Apple A is for select all, Apple C is for copy. I don't need that window anymore. Obviously I'm working on a Macintosh computer, an iMac. Uh, and then we're going to do Apple V for paste. I'm going to grab this tool so I can move the picture around. Um, so I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. So under Edit, Transform Scale. I'm going to have to go a little bit fast because I'm trying to keep this under the 10 minute mark. Again, once you become a partner, you can uh, do longer videos and longer tutorials. Okay, so there we go. As long as your picture is longer than the 1600, in which we made this, uh, there you go. Double click on it, and now it's the background is set. Now I wanted to put a uh, feathered edge to it, so I'll just paint a black over top of it because the background on YouTube is black. So I'm going to click here, drag down. Make that feathered edge. Again, I'm using this brush, which is 100 pixels with a soft edge to it. We'll do that on this side. We'll do it along the bottom so it fades to black. And that's it. So our background's done. Now we're going to put a text in there. I'm going to switch this over because if I start typing when that's there, the text will be black. I don't want it to be black. I want it to be white. So let's click on text. Click there. K, B, D space pro productions tv and i'm going to double click or triple click one two three selects all copy click on the end one two spaces paste that's what i want there done so now of course i want to uh, rotate it so under edit transform rotate uh, this tool comes up and you can start to spin it around like crazy. If you hold uh, shift, it'll snap to a degree. So there we go, 90 degrees. Double click on it, it's set. So let's put that there. Another thing I forgot to do is uh, let's drag out. I'm going to zoom in one more. Click on this green tool so I can see the exact proportions of the width. Uh, I'm going to drag out to 150 pixels. Then I'm going to reset that line to zero. And I drag out another one to 960. So now this is the 150 gap, and this is the 950 gap. Let's put this back here. Um, I'm going to make that bigger, so transform scale. Drag this up to the top. 
move this to the bottom, drag that to the bottom almost all the way, double click. I'm going to do, uh, actually, I'm going to do that again. Do, do, do. Make that a little bit wider. There we go. Make it big and chunky. Okay, so now we're going to duplicate that layer by clicking Control on, on that layer, duplicate layer. So now I have two of those. Again, we have to rotate. Move this up to the top. Again, hold shift down, it'll snap to. Move this back up to the top so I can see what's going on, how, how tall I want it, or how high I want it. Uh, if you want to use your um, arrow tools, you can do that. Let's click and double click. So that's now stuck there. Let's go back to this one over here, which is this one and drag that back up to, I'm holding shift so it doesn't move this way, I just wanted to move up and down. So there you go, done. Um, this is that text, I'm going to double click on this just underneath the text. If you click on the text, it's thinking that you want to retype it, so I'll just tick, click underneath. comes up with here, we're going to drop shadow, we're going to normal, I already know that I want it to be 9 uh, pixels, or sorry, 9, yeah, I want 9 pixels out and I want it to be 100%. So we'll do the same thing with the other one. Double click on it, drop shadow, normal, 100, 9, it's at 120 degrees. I like shadows coming from this angle. So there's our page, it's done. Our background is done. Well, we have to do is save so we don't lose it. Save it to our desktop, done, okay. So now if I need to go back and change, make changes on that, we can. But at this point in time, it is 13 meg. They only want you to put um, a file that is under 256K, which is tiny. Anyway, so let's uh, edit, or sorry, file, save for web and devices this is a great tool. It helps you out a lot. As long as you know what the site or channel, whatever, needs, then you can just do this. Right now it is sitting at 197. Uh, so we can make this quality. I'm keeping it as a JPEG. I can bump this up to 33, let's say, see what happens. So 206, let's drop it down to 30, even, eh, 31, 32. I want it to be as big as possible, but there we go, 205, that should be fine. So save, save. Make sure it's going to my desktop. We're going to call it, let's say, 2. It's done. So let's go back to our Safari and our YouTube account. We're going to click on uh, Edit Channel, Channel Design. We're going to go to Advanced Design Customation. We're going to delete the picture that's there right now. We're going to choose background which was number two choose go back up to the top make sure you click on this button when it comes highlighted do, 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 do. okay update channel and it's spinning there we go and saying your channel design has been updated so if we click on the background it'll take a few minutes but right now it's uh, it's still the same old image because I had a dissolve along the top just so I remember which which channel I uh, was doing. Anyway, so that's how you do it. That's a tutorial. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, comment, and uh, rate this video. And uh, if you need a tutorial on anything else, just uh, give me an email. Thanks a lot. Talk to